Okay, uh, this is a Sears, vintage Sears tape cartridge recorder. <laughs> it's basically, it's a cassette recorder actually, solid state, dual power, whatever that means. Well, actually it means it runs on batteries and AC jack, which is what I'm using. Um, I just got this thing, I got it on Craigslist. This is a, uh, this tape, it's red. It's nothing fancy about it. It's really just a normal bias cassette. Unused, uh, blank tape. So yeah, I'm gonna test this thing out. I'm going to be recording drums with this little, well, kinda little vintage cassette recorder that I got off of Craigslist. And first, I'm going to use this realistic uh, cassette deck microphone unidirectional cassette recorder microphone because that's what fits in the jack. Um, and then I'm going after that I'm going to try, I have an adapter, I'm going to try an SM57 as well. But first let's check this one out. I want to hear what this sounds like and uh, see if it can record without distorting. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. Well, that actually sounded much, much better than I ever imagined. Um, it really didn't distort at all. It sounded really good. I mean, I only listened to it back through the cassette player with headphones. and uh, But so far, I mean, what I heard sounded great. I'm, you'll hear it when I dub it back on my computer at home. So now what I'm going to try is the same thing, but with an SM57. So we'll see how this goes. And I think uh, it should sound even better, I'm imagining. So here we go. That was with the SM57, and as you can tell, it's much, much bassier uh, with the SM57. And it sounds really good. It probably has, you know, I mean, really good considering for what it is. But uh, it's cool. I really like it. I'm probably going to use this in some songs and, uh, and some kind of recordings to experiment with some different sounds. But, uh, yeah, what I was going to say, it's, it's probably very bassy just because of the placement. You know, it's pretty low, pretty close to the kick. Um, with the other mic, it didn't really matter as much because it was more balanced sounding, I think, uh, being uh, just a less bassy mic. This one might sound better if I place it up higher, maybe more above the kit, might get some more definition out of the snare and cymbals and uh, kind of tame the bass a little bit. So maybe I'll try that next, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching this little video, this uh, vintage Sears uh, tape recorder, and uh, pretty happy with it for 20 bucks. Pretty cool. So what you just heard was this vintage Sears cassette recorder that I got on Craigslist for $20. Um, yeah, I mean, now that I got it home and actually heard it through this, the computer and, you know, my real speakers and everything, it is, you know, it kind of lacks a lot of the high-end definition, uh, but it sounds cool for what it is. And like I, I said in the video, I actually really liked it, especially for the um, with the combination of the first mic and the camera audio. I actually thought that sounded really neat. Um, you know, of course, this is not, you know, what you would never use this if you wanted like a clear, like very professional sounding recording. But a lot of the stuff I do, I like to experiment and get like different sounds and stuff. So like, for me, I think it's really cool, and maybe what I'll do is like combine it, like I did 
I'm not, maybe not with like a camcorder, but, but maybe with like my um, little Zoom like handheld recorder, I could uh, use that and then the cassette and then match them up. Uh, there was a little bit of challenge to get them like totally synchronized in time because the cassette tends to stretch over time and be a little bit longer. But I just used the time uh, stretch tool and basically just fixed them up uh, in Sony Vegas. And you can do that at Cubase and Pro, Pro Tools as well. But maybe it'll give you some ideas to, you know, different ways you could use old recorders to like get some unique sounding drum recordings. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.